So uh, we are starting. Instruction number 11 and instruction number 11 is LDAX RP. So I'll not be going to the details of uh, each and every instruction from here on. Uh, you will have to, you'll be doing the complete uh, as per format that we have discussed. You'll be writing each and every instruction. I'll be only mentioning uh, few of the details, necessary details of each and every instruction. So 11th instruction on the data transfer group is LDXRP, where RP, uh, we'll do we'll look at the variations later on. So what does this do? This loads the accumulator. with the contents of memory location. So the contents of the memory location whose address is actually specified The address of the memory location is specified in the register pair and uh, at that memory location whatever contents are available that will be loaded into the accumulator so this is LDX RP so uh, you can write it as the macro RTL of this instruction like this fine so talking about uh, this is a single byte instruction As it as LDX as the opcode will consume one uh, byte, whereas the register pairs, since they are internal memories of the microprocessor, they do not consume any uh, data byte. Uh, this instruction will have only two machine cycles. The opcode op fetch machine cycle and memory read machine cycle. The address is specified in the uh, register pair. F, uh, so you'll have 70 states. Execution time will be accordingly 2.24 microseconds. H is important here. It only has two variations. One is LDX B, where B will here mean BC register pair, and second variation is LDX D, where D means DE register pair. So HL register pair is not involved uh, is not used using this instruction or that we have actually already discussed in the previous two instructions uh, that was LH that we have discussed last time LHLD and SHLD and uh, before that also we can use uh, different other instructions for uh, HL register pair. So you have two variations these are your examples is I also J no flag is affected K will be the addressing mode and what are the addressing modes of this addressing modes So you have the source addressing mode and the destination addressing mode. The source, what is the source is the register pair. It is register indirect addressing mode. 
the register peer points to the memory location so you have register indirect addressing mode and the destination uh, the destination for this memory location is the accumulator which is actually implied in the instruction implied addressing mode and then k you have the machine cycles you have the opcode fetch machine cycle as usual and you have the memory read machine cycle the memory read machine cycle uh, you will have 3d states of the memory read machine cycle you know io by m bar is 0 s1 is 1 and s0 is 0 for a memory read machine cycle what will happen in t1 state a15 a8 the address bus will be loaded with the address that's available in the register pair the most significant bit and ad7 to ad0 will carry the least significant bit we do not need to read the address in this case uh, from the memory we these, these are internal registers so uh, the memory for reading the mem address from the memory or say for example we had to read address direct address uh, in case of last instruction uh, shld or lhld so you have to read one byte of data at a time here the uh, here we do not need to go to the memory location to read the memory uh, to read the address it's already implied through the register pair so this will take place within one memory read machine cycle once the address bus is loaded address latch enable will be triggered so that this address bus is basically latched on by the microprocessor read instruction will be enabled and now data bus will be used for carrying the data and the data will be carried now the address bus consists contains the location contains the address of the memory location fine its contents will now be transferred to the data bus so once the contents are transferred to the data bus read instruction will be disabled it will be a low to high transition this low to high transition uh, is an internal memory <coughs> takes place in the microprocessor and the accumulator will be loaded with the contents that are available on the data bus so this takes this completes uh, its task in one memory read machine cycle because we do not need to read the address one at a time as was the case in LHLD or SHLD instruction so this is your LDX instruction you have number 12 number 12 is STAX RP so STAX RP what does it do it will store the contents of accumulator in the uh, stores contents of accumulator where it will store the contents of accumulator in the memory location whose address is specified in the register pair So the address is specified in the register peer and in, uh, we need to store the contents of accumulator in that memory location. So you can simply write this as why. So accordingly, uh, you, this is a single byte instruction. This has two machine cycles. It has 70 states. It has an execution time of 2.24 uh, microseconds. Uh, the variations, again, there are only two variations.
and what are the two variations stx b and stx d fine j no flag will be affected k addressing mode for the source what will be the addressing mode for the source uh, the source is the accumulator so it is implied in the instruction and for the destination uh, it is register indirect addressing mode fine l will be the micro rtl you have the opcode fetch machine cycle and what is done in the machine cycle in this case that is the memory write machine cycle uh, so whatever are the contents of the accumulator that have to be now written onto the memory location so you will complete this instruction this is instruction number 12 for you then you have 13th instruction in the data transfer group and that is x c h g fine so this is simply an instruction that will be used for uh, exchanging exchange the contents of h l register pair with d e register pair fine so uh, that uh, writing down the micro the macro rtl of this you can write it as d e exchange that means this is a bidirectional instruction h the contents of h will actually go to d and the contents of l will go to e and vice versa e will go the contents of e will go to l and l will go to e so uh, number of it's a single byte instruction because you have to only uh, decode the mic op code of the uh, of this instruction only one machine cycle one machine cycle that is the op code fetch machine cycle because you have to neither read the memory you have to neither write onto the memory d e h l these are instruction internal registers of the microprocessor they are not the memory uh, associated with the microprocessor interface with the microprocessor so you have one machine cycle you have four t states you have uh, you will write f uh, 4t states g will be execution time of 1.28 microseconds h no variations i uh, there's nothing like an example for this you can it's simply x c h g this is simple instruction nothing even after this it's simple x c h g j no flag is affected k what is the addressing mode again there is nothing like source or destination for this uh, both actually are implied source as well as the destination addressing mode and the micro rtl will only consist of the up code off code fetch machine cycle so this is your 13th instruction the data transfer group moving on you have the 14th instruction uh, and the 14th instruction is i n a d d r in a d d r so what does this do it basically loads the accumulator uh, with the contents of it loads the accumulator with the contents of an input device whose address is C 
specified in the with the instruction now the address of this input device whatever is the input device is actually specified and it is specified as an 8 bit address fine the input and output devices they have had their address is only 8 bit their address is not 16 bit so you can write the micro rtl of this a uh, will basically so whatever is the address here whatever is the address that is actually specified the contents of that address so I'm writing IO to specify here that this is not a memory this is an input output device and its contents will now be stored in the accumulator so how many instructions uh, the size of this it's a 2 byte instruction why is it 2 byte because 1 byte will be the opcode fetch and in this case the address is only 8 bit so it is only equal to 1 bit uh, 1 byte that means it's uh, an accumul total of 2 bytes of instruction the number of machine cycles there are 3 machine cycles and what are those 3 machine cycles you have the opcode fetch machine cycle you have the memory read machine cycle and you have the IO read machine cycle the opcode fetch machine cycle in the opcode fetch machine cycle you will decode this uh, instruction here fine whatever was the instruction that was actually given to us uh, we'll decode that in the opcode fetch machine cycle in the memory read machine cycle this address is now actually specified in the memory and we need to read this address so once we read this address we uh, we know that this address basically points to an input device and that input device has some data from that input device now you have to read the data so you have the IO read machine cycle as well so you have three machine cycles of code fetch machine cycle to decode the data to decode the instruction memory read machine cycle to read the address because this address is actually specified in the memory and IO read machine cycle now that memory is pointing to an input device from that input device you have to read the data what data is actually you need to transfer to the accumulator for that you have the IO read machine cycle so uh, IO read machine cycle is again 3T states so 433 means 10T states in total and uh, execution time of 3.24 microseconds H no variations so you have I uh, you can write an example any example you can say for example I n 55 H fine so the address will now only be 1 byte 6 8 bit not 16 bits j no flag affected then the addressing modes you have uh, the source addressing mode what is the source the source is the uh, for that you have been given the address directly so it is direct addressing mode and the destination is the destination is accumulator that is actually implied in the instruction fine and then you have the machine cycles opcode fetch machine cycle you know this memory read machine cycle you have to read one byte of 
uh, address only so you can you know that also we have seen how to read an address store that in the temporary register z so fine so you'll be storing only in z because you are not now reading 16 bytes of data 16 bytes of address you're only reading 8 bits of address not 6 you're not reading 16 bits of address you are reading only 8 bits of address uh, in case of the 16 bit instruction 16 bit address instructions we saw that the address was loaded in two temporary registers Z and W but since in this case there is only one byte that's eight bits of address so it will be loaded in only one register that is Z fine so in the T3 state of the memory read machine cycle Z will be loaded and Z will basically carry the address location So once you have that, then we can move on to the I.O. read machine cycle. Now how I.O. read machine cycle is different. Firstly, I.O. by M bar will now be equal to 1. And since this is read instruction, S1 will also be equal to 1. And S0 will be equal to 0. Fine. So I O M by M bar now becomes one because this is an input uh, because we are reading now data from an input source. So T1 in the T1 state, what will be happening? A15 to A8 will be loaded with Z. Z is carrying the address. So A15 to A8 will carry address. AD7 to AD0. Since there is only one byte, eight bits of uh, address, so Z is fetched into A15 to A8. And AD7 to A0, that will also carry the same address because we do not have 16 bits of address we have only 8 bits of address so both the address uh, buses a15 to 8 as well as ad7 to a0 uh, will carry the same address uh, that is this stored in the register z and finally the address latch enable will be triggered in the t2 state read instruction will be enabled mm -hmm. and whatever is on the data whatever is on the address bus will now be its contents will now be transferred to the data bus from that address location that the mem microprocessor has latched from that address location now uh, the data has will be taken and that will be stored on the data bus read instruction will be made one there will be a low tide transition and the accumulator will now finally be stored with this data So this is your IO read machine cycle and the difference here is that IO by M bar is 1 and A15 to A8 as well as AD7 to A0, AD0 will be carrying the same address. Uh, we will not be having AD, A15 to A8 carrying W and AD7 to AD0 carrying Z. Both, them, both of them will be carrying the same address because the address is only 8 bits here. So I, they were supposed to be free but they will be carrying now the same address <coughs> and instead of writing M here I will be writing IO to indicate that this is an input output device so this is your instruction number 14th instruction number 15th uh, the last instruction of this 
डाटा ट्रांसफर ग्रुप हो यू टी आउट ए डी डी आर सो आउट इंस्ट्रक्शन बेसिकली एज अपोज टू द इनपुट इंस्ट्रक्शन वॉट विल इट डू इट विल स्टोर द कंटेंट्स ऑफ एक्यूमलेटर it will store the contents of the accumulator on to an ex external device on to an output device whose address is actually uh, specified in the instruction so you can write i o a d d r will be carrying now the contents of the accumulator so it's again a two byte instruction because the address is only 8 bits uh 3 machine cycles what are the 3 machine cycles you have the opcode fetch machine cycle you have the memory read machine cycle the memory read machine cycle will basically read this address and then you have the io write machine cycle whatever was on that address its contents uh will be written on to uh, and the contents of the accumulator will be written on to that address f you have 10 t states g you have an execution time of 3.24 microseconds and there is no variation example can be o u t f f h fine h represents the exact decimal number j no flag affected k the addressing modes for the source the addressing mode is uh, accumulator so it's implied in the instruction and the destination is uh, the address that's being given to us so it is direct addressing mode so accordingly you will be having the micro rtl opcode fetch machine cycle as usual memory read machine cycle as usual and in the t3 state whatever was on the address bus uh, whatever was on the data bus will be carried to the z register pair fine and then you have the io write machine cycle in the io write machine cycle io by m bar will be equal to 1 S one will be equal to zero. S not will be equal to one. So T one same uh, as we did in the I/O read. In the T two uh, write will be enabled, and A D seven to A D not will be carrying the contents of the accumulator. A D seven to A D not will be. carrying the contents of the accumulator in the t3 state the write instruction will again be disabled the write instruction will be disabled it will be a low to high transition and following this low to high transition whatever was on the 
data bus that will be transferred to the IO device. So this completes our uh, instruction output ADDR and this also completes our data transfer group. So we have done 15 uh, different instructions of the data transfer group starting with the move instructions and uh, different types of instruction that we have studied uh, that include a simple register or register pairs or moving the data immediately MVI, LXI, LDA, STA, LDX, STAX, uh, SHLD, LHLD, you have the exchange instruction, you have the LDX, RP, STX, RP, you have the input and the output instructions. So different types of data trans instructions in the data transfer group that are actually uh, meant for flow of data between the accumulator and the memory, between the accumulator, between the accumulator and the registers, between the registers and the memory, between the registers themselves, between the output devices and the accumulator. Uh, so different types of instruction simply meant for transfer of data from, this, from one location to another location now that location can be anything uh, be it a register or a memory itself so in the next session we will start with the arithmetic group of instructions